Behold, our deep sea gorge, which didn't quite work out the way I thought it was going to. It has not filled up with life. Imagine that, making super deep sea hasn't really resulted in a lot of life, but I see our little trilobite. Look at him. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, Trevor. Trevor, how are you? Trevor the trilobite. Oh my gosh, I'm so attached to him, especially because he is one of the most complex life forms that we have managed to create here in birthdays the beginning so far so welcome back everyone and i realize i made a big flub when i thought that uh, removing a whole bunch of the land was actually going to give us ferns it actually ended up cooling off a lot of the planet or like warming up a lot of the planet not making it cooler and we are currently working on trying to add, add in the bara fern shorthand for bara or like bara wakatiora and i'm just going to call it the bara fern it needs to have water temperatures at least 41 degrees celsius so actually a lot colder than what we currently have. There needs to be a lot of lowland, the moisture needs to be high, and there need to be a minimum of 6,000 of the calumnia, which are the seaweeds that we're working with. So I actually have to raise up a bunch of the, the water now and make the land different. I thought for some reason that making some deep sea would help me, and it has actually done the opposite of what I was aiming for. So we're gonna raise up a few places, try to make sure that we've got some nice little lowlands coming through. I think we may raise up this mountain range that we've been playing with and turn it back into like lowlands instead of shallows. And hopefully that will actually increase the temperature on the planet too. And we're keeping an eye on those Kalunia and hoping that we can get their populations up a little bit. Because I truly did not mean to put them at such risk, but this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Instead of just kind of stepping back and watching as everything evolves at its own pace and we end up having a lot of um a lot of interesting like spread of different species, what actually happens in this game is that you tend to focus on meeting the puzzle pieces, trying to get the Conditions. There's a lot of adaptability, like there's a lot that you can do for yourself in determining how you want things to look. But for the most part, you're actually trying to fit out these like puzzle pieces of how to get everything lined up. So it's not exactly the sort of freeform change something, step back and just see how it goes like I thought it would be. But that's okay because I'm still having a great time. I just have to figure out the puzzle part of it. All right, so we're going to get some lowland over here. And I'm hoping that this will like cool the planet off a little bit to have some more lowlands spread through the area. And we're gonna see if that helps out because this is, this is getting kind of tricky for me. All right. And we're also in just a little bit here going to try using, come on Kalunia, come on. Let's get your population up, up, up instead of down, down, down. Um, let's see. Oh, the Kalunia is really struggling. It's only meeting about half the amount that we actually need. The air temperature is around 56 Celsius, and we actually, 54 Celsius. I need to figure out how to make it go down a little bit. So I think we need to spread how much water we actually have, or spread how much land we have around the area. Uh, temperature is going up now. I need temperature to go down. If I add in more water, will that make it go colder? Huh. Temperature is going up. It was colder before. I think I need it colder. It's so tricky, you guys. I think one of the things we're actually going to do is try out using our seed of evolution that we have. Um, and actually, I do think it's getting warmer again. So maybe I'm doing the opposite of what I needed. I was on the right path with cooling the planet off. All right, let's try this again. We need lowlands, but let's try lowering some of this little mountain range. And then I'm going to see if this is going to cool the planet off. So this is my test on the amount of land. And then I need to actually change the size. And then over here where it's C, raise it up to shallows. There we go. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, as long as it's shallows, then I think I can use it for some of my projects. All of these these ferns that we have zipping around, or the seaweed we have zipping around. All right, come on, come on, there we go. Got shallows, shallows. Okay, and then this could technically be a little bit of lowland if I just raise it up a little bit more. Nope, raise up, raise up. Man, this is hard. <laughs> it's much harder than I thought it would be, but it is fun. All right, let's step back. I tried raising some of the land this time. 
and destroying some of it. Temperature, 55, 57, 54. Hmm, Colonia is starting to edge up towards 5,000. So let's continue making a bunch of shallows instead. I think I need to start kind of evening some things out, trying to make some shallows. Looks like we had some new life pop up over here. So more Colonia probably. All right, so let's get rid of some of these sea pieces. I've probably made things very hard on myself by making it so dynamic instead of keeping everything nice and tidy. But you know what, I have fun with it that way. All right, more shallows please. And then, yeah, this is shallows too. And let's raise this up so that it's gonna be shallows instead of sea because that's what we need for my colonia to survive and spread. But yeah, it really is much more about puzzles than it is about anything else so far. And I find that intriguing. It reminds me, actually, a lot less of Spore and a lot more of Reyes right now. If you guys remember Reyes, it's also one of my favorite games to play. Haven't played it in a long time. But Reyes is very much this kind of puzzle thing. You have villages, you have resources that you're managing. And yet, you do kind of step back, hands off, uh, to a certain degree, and just see what setting up the different environments will do to your little creatures you're in charge of. Let's try raising this up, 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 up. There we go. You know what? Let's just raise some of this up too. I'm gonna get a little bit bolder because we're gonna see what this does. Maybe we need more land overall to be able. All right, and if this doesn't work, then I'm just going to use our little seed of evolution and our other things on... And maybe I should make like a land bridge here. There we go. Wow, it's so pretty, but it definitely is a gigantic mess. and I don't really know what I've done. All right. All right, Kalunia, come on, Kalunia. No, don't drop by the thousands. Oh, boy. All right, come on, Kalunia. Come on, all right, we have a lot of stromalites, but everything else is dipping down. Colonia is really struggling. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, their population dropped by like a thousand from what I had had it at. Uh, is it because of all of these? Hmm, we have more stromalites spreading. I thought the Colonia would like all of the shallows I've made, but are the shallows not warm enough for them? Um, hmm, and how to make it warmer. This is so much harder than it looked. All right, let's see. Uh, we're gonna go into the library again. And I'm going to check the colonia needs anywhere from 53 Celsius. So that's what we have to have in order to have more of them pop in. 43 to 53, and they can survive up to 63, I think. So, hmm, all right. So 53, huh? is the, the kind of top end. So how do I cool off the water? That's what I need to do. I need to make the planet colder. And the way I was doing that, 53 Celsius, was by making some deep sea and trying to cool the planet off by getting rid of some of the land. So was I on the right track all along? All right, guys, I'm gonna try this out and fiddle with it. And if I can get my Colonia happy again, by getting some of the land masses down, I guess? Then I will try that out. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as I figure out what I am doing wrong. I think I need to lower everything to make the temperature a little bit cooler. And then we should be able to get our Colonia really happy. And we need 6,000 Colonia, and then we can start talking about ferns. So let me see what I can do. I think okay things are happening but i may just be making the problem worse i may be one of those uh creators of life that take a few um 
take a few times to kind of experience. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're getting down to 54 degrees Celsius. I may be one of those creators of life itself that takes uh, quite a while to experiment and make huge mistakes and figure out what I have been doing. But welcome to my very patchy planet, you guys. We're doing pretty interesting. I won't say good, but interesting with our cube at least. We're going to sit here and just kind of watch time pass. I have been watching many things threaten to go extinct, such as our stromalites, crossing my fingers that they'll just kind of hang in there for a little bit. The Colonia has gone up to 5,000. Yes! 5,000 so far and I have the air temperature supposedly headed downward and we need to get all the way down to like 41 um, 41 Celsius which is gonna be kind of interesting to try to get my planet to that level but I think think we're doing okay. I, I think it's okay if the stromalite kind of starts going extinct, but we're going to start actually making some taller areas. So not even lowlands. We're going to start making... Yeah, there we go. So the taller I make the land, the colder it's beginning to get. And once I get down to a certain degree Celsius, then hopefully we'll be able to start seeing some of the ferns show up in the lowlands. So I needed to do the opposite of what I did. And I'm really embarrassed, but I'm hoping that showing you guys like, hey, Siri made a big mistake and like made the planet a lot hotter when she needed to make it colder will help you when you are trying to develop life on your personalized little planetary cube. So what are we doing so far? Still working on trying to get the Bara Fern. We need the water to be at 41 degrees Celsius. We need some lowlands and we need 5,000 of the Kalunia. Um, and let's see, the water... The water is still super toasty warm. I'm not sure how I'm going to get the water down to like that degree when the rest of the planet is starting to get there. I'm really a little concerned. Uh, the water is getting very toasty for my Colunias too. It's, they're supposed to be able to get a little bit, um, a little bit cooler. And the coldest water I have is in the deep sea right now. So it's kind of like a, a big conflict between trying to keep things a little bit chillier for the planet to try to pull the water temperature down. I don't think it's working. <laughs> so again, I may be doing completely the opposite of what I'm supposed to do, but the Colonia is starting to spread. It, we're almost at 5,000. So I'm kind of hoping if I just keep an eye on it, can I hit 6,000 Colonia? Oh, I did it! I hit 6,000 Colonia! Oh my gosh! Okay, so they're spreading around the place. But I need to start working. The air temperature is going down. The stromalites are really struggling. Come on, Colonia. All right, the Colonia population is kind of zipping all over the place. Let's jump onto the planet. Oh, boy. And we have the seed of mutation. Uh, I might use it on one of our creatures that we have. I'm sort of stunned that anything can continue to survive here. Getting the temperature adjusted is definitely a huge key part of the puzzle. And I know you guys are probably yelling at me how to do it like right now, but I don't know right now now because I don't know your comments yet. So I apologize if I'm just doing everything completely wrong. I'm just trying my best to take a good guess because it gets colder on the planet overall over here. I wonder if I get some more of these areas up. See, I can make the planet colder as a whole. And I'm trying to make more shallows in a few spots to kind of balance it out. No, 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 no. We want to keep that planet nice and cold. Maybe I'll get this little corner all tucked up. And maybe having some of these peaks and valleys will help me. And then there's like 15%, there's percent moisture on a whole bunch of these. This is going to be tricky. This is going to be really tricky. All right, so let's try this out. We're going to step back. My little cube is evolving. Still pretty nervous about it. The stromalites are really struggling to hang in there. The Colunia is definitely working its way up. I think I may actually try going ahead. Come on, Colunia. Come on, Colunia. Yeah, the Colunia is definitely doing a lot better. Oh, everybody's happy for just a second. Uh -huh. And maybe I should try? I mean, the water temperature is just not going down. The, the easiest I've gotten the water temperature down is when I made a deep sea, but I've not been able to get it down. Water, 41 degrees Celsius. Lowlands and moisture. Is it going to get cooler if I raise up? Do I need a lot of shallows? Like everything needs to be shallows? Is that what it's telling me? Nothing can be sea. All right, raise it up. 
Raise it up. I'm getting rid of all of the sea. That seems to be helping, actually. All right, up we go, up we go. Hopefully the jellyfish doesn't mind. My beautiful little, my beautiful little valley that I made. My deep cavern, my chasm. It may have spelled my doom when it comes to trying to get, uh, trying to get this working. All right, so I'm out of energy again. Let's see if that does something. We are really changing the environment a ton. I'm really tempted. All right, come on, Clunia. The Clunia is staying strong at 7,000 or 6,000. Come on. Is the, the water temperature going down at all? The Clunia population is still zipping along. Woo, look at that. And then we have like these huge jumps in population with our jellyfish. Whoa. And everybody was happy for just a moment there. I have no idea. All right. I think what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and use our little evolution trick. Yeah, look at this. The water is still super warm. This is toasty toasty. This is not quite what I'm going for. I want something a lot cooler with the water temperature. And I can't seem to figure out how to make that happen. So, hmm, maybe it's because I just have way too many, way too many like big areas and I needed to have a lot more lowlands. In fact, maybe that's it. Maybe my awesome little peaks and valleys are actually what have ruined everything because it said big wide open areas that are pretty even are one of the best things you can do for creating new life. And then I just went and make like all these peaks instead. Whoa, look at how deep this one is. I mean, look at this nonsense. Maybe that's what happened. But do I really have to fix all of these manually? That would be really boring. All right, let's see. Let's try pulling these up. The temperature is dropping, but that's just for like the land mass. That's not dropping for the ocean. But I think I did ruin it all by making it. There we go. Come on, little planet. You and I are gonna work on this together. Let's see what happens. If I just systematically raise up the landmass, it's very interesting because it says that the temperature is going to continue dropping. All right, and there's my little trilobite. This is my last attempt to stabilize some things and get them moving and grooving. All right, there we go. There we go. Does the water stay warmer if the ocean is deeper? Hmm. And we'll pull this up right over here. What do you think about that planet, huh? Do you think that's pretty cool? Do you want to do you want to communicate a little bit more? Well, I guess we communicate through everything living or dying on this planet. All right, maybe if I line these up, that'll work out better. What do you think? What do you think? I'll make it a nice boring little square cube thing for you. I mean, you are a cube planet, so I guess that would make sense if it really preferred things that were a little bit a little bit smoothed out. All right, all right, what do you think about this? Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, let's try this, guys. And if this doesn't work, then I'm just gonna go ahead and use the mutation gene on the trilobite and see what happens, because I think that would be kind of cool. All right, and there we go. No, the temperature has gone up. I want temperature down, down. So I'm gonna come along here and raise it there. All right, so I think like this kind of tedious puzzle PC up, down, up, down, up, down is actually part of what I'm supposed to do. And it doesn't have to be tedious if I could just learn how to do this correctly. All right, sorry, jellyfish. I'm gonna have to raise this up. No offense meant, I just have to get rid of like the deep parts. So don't make deep parts, guys. That's the, the bottom line. All right, let's try this again, guys. Yes, yes, did you see that? It became colder. Good, I need that, I think. Maybe. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. Let's see what that is going to do. If I speed up for a minute, will anything good happen or did I ruin everything forever? All right, the Colonia is still pretty happy about life. It's going up in the 8,000s. 8,000s. And the air temperature is dropping. Does that mean the water temperature is gonna start dropping too? The strom lights are really struggling. All right, regaining my energy. But the Clunia is very happy. All right, so let's dive in. Tell me all about it, little Navi. Water temperature needs to be 41 Celsius, moisture 15%. <sighs> really? 
What does it mean by 36 Celsius? Does that mean it's gonna get that cold here? If I need more moisture, does that mean I just have to like drop this right here? Does that alter the moisture right next to it? It should, if you ask me. Huh. All right. Well, let's go ahead and I'm actually going to, ah, oh, now it made it warmer. I'm gonna evolve this trilobite. I feel like we have earned the right to do something pretty fun and awesome, and I think that I have ruined things, making it as varied as I did from the get-go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna have fun with my little trilobite friend. Look at him zip along, isn't he just the best? And we're going to go ahead and use a special item on him in order to evolve him. So let's, let's go over him. That's the C. Where's my little trilobite? There you are. Trevor. Trevor, come back. All right, there's Trevor. And, okay, come here, Trevor. All right, and we're going to use Seed of Evolution on Trevor. Dun, dun, dun! And I'm also going to try, since I have multiple, let's use the Seed of Evolution on this little thing, too. And then hopefully that'll do something. So we kind of cheated the evolution. But let's see what happens. Yes! I have new things! Finally, you've birthed the borrow from the Bara. Yeah, just capture it and you're home free. Until then, you're free to do as you please. Just capture it when you're ready. All right. So this is goodbye then. What? Oh, nothing. Now, go on, go on. All right, well, you know what? I, I've enjoyed my time on this cube, but I have definitely messed things up. So let's dive in and figure out what I have done new. Apparently there's something hiding in this little shallow spot somewhere over here. I have made a big mess of this whole area. I'm pretty proud about it. <gasps> My very first fern! Oh. Oh, actually. It may be very confusing. It may be perplexing at times. Even frustrating. But seeing this, seeing this makes it almost all worth it. I can't believe I have my very first little fern. And I also can't believe I can't get rid of the red flashing cursor just to be able to admire my plant for half a second. Oh, there we go. Oh, you guys. I am one happy Siri. I have my first plant. My first land-based plant! Yes! Alright, let's go ahead and capture it. Poor little thing. I have no idea how on earth I was supposed to make that happen. Uh, birth temperature, 36 Celsius to 46 Celsius. Yeah, I needed to make it a lot colder, it seems. And birth moisture, 12 to 88%. So it needed to be a lot wetter and a lot colder. I'm gonna have to remember that next time. A plant that grows on land. As Colonia and Clydeco medusa proliferated throughout the sea, this species began to adapt on land. All right, so we got that guy. You did it, mission complete. Our time together was brief, but I'm grateful to you. I couldn't have done this on my own. Now go back to your world. What if I wanted to see my other creation? The cube is born. Well, like, goodness. Yay, I didn't know I was being ranked. <laughs> All right, I think I learned something. Free play mode is now available. Pretty tempted to go play in free play mode, but at least we have completed that. Is this all a dream? No, it can't be. After all, I'm in a cave right now. Also, we're back to this very confusing thing that's kind of amusing. I should hurry home, I thought as I followed the light, but when I stepped outside, I couldn't believe my eyes. The trees before me resembled thick ferns and were clearly from the trees I had walked by previously. Uh, different. Ha what's going on? Have I been taken to another world? Trust an alien to land you in the wrong spot. This plant looks just as green as any other and just chucks the poor human out. Perhaps I should take a look around. All right, guys, something tells me that this is future dino land, which is very exciting. Isn't that the place I just made? Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to remember that we can kind of make, um, we can make some interesting effects. So I need to be a little bit more delicate with how we organize our planet. I thought I was free from my past mistakes, but no, there they are before me with a wide open plane to add even more to them. So it looks like we are gonna be jumping from here onto adding in more ferns and possibly even adding in more dinosaurs. Hopefully I can keep our tiny little patch of Barawakintia alive long enough to be able to uh, survive since I need to lower the temperature still. But I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful, and I think that this is going to be a challenging game to try to tackle and I we may have a lot of fun with freeform mode pretty soon so I'll see you guys next time bye bye